this video um, somebody was looking at my YouTube video and let's see if you could see this but this is the one where I actually take the S-Man apart and it's called S-Man 480V overhaul deep vacuum modification and it's where I go through the procedure step by step completely taking apart all the o-rings and applying silicone grease as a sealant to pull deeper vacuums because if you want to pull a really in remember I have to stress this pulling really deep vacuums through your manifolds and doing work is not the best way or the recommended way but this is what it most everybody has so if you are going to use uh, a manifold to pull deep vacuum I'm giving you a modification tip and you can see my can of grease right there that's a silicone grease to improve your manifold to pull deeper vacuums so SK or LK 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 asked me can you make a video on how to clean a micron gauge sensor in case it is contaminated with oil uh, yes no problem I thought I made a video like this a long time ago but not sure where it is and I think I went to uh, I thought I was gonna link them to a video in Field Peds website on how to do this and I thought they had one so we have an injector uh, you know just a syringe now I usually 98 or 99 percent alcohol is what I usually use and I went up to get alcohol today because I used up the last of my alcohol and they had no 98 or 99 percent alcohol so I'm gonna have to suffer with 91 percent and remember the other percentage is water and water is one of the things you want to keep out of here but you will be flushing it out with nitrogen and then throw it on a vacuum pump and the vacuum pump will remove the water now I'm doing this indoors which I don't want to but it's cold outside and uh, I just got home and it's like eight or nine o'clock right now so let's go through this and make a mess in my place I brought some rags uh, I got nitrogen here so here's the nitrogen bottle let's uh, open this up adjust it I'm gonna try not to make a big mess in my place it's uh, fumes from alcohol ain't gonna be the greatest thing so in the center here if you took this apart because I've actually taken these cases apart too there's a micron sensor located dead in the center and it goes down into this opening right in the channel in the chamber in the manifold and it actually it senses in a chamber between this area right here so you will get oil contamination in it and it will affect your micron sensor readings and uh and it could cause them to jump and it caused them to delay it could cause them not to move at all i've gotten different uh situations happening depending on the amount of oil and the type of oil and uh so all i'm doing here if you could see i'm just squirting in pure alcohol now yeah i do this about three times but i'm only going to show you once because i don't want to make a smelly mess inside my place here so you can hear it and actually every now and then I could see a little splash come up and all I'm simply doing is just doing this and it's starting to come out here a little bit and all that's doing is inside here there's the chamber and alcohol is just splashing back and forth and it's going over that sensor now if I was outside I would put my nitrogen on the full blast and have eye protection of course because uh, you, you don't want alcohol spraying in your eye and you don't want any stream of high pressure air and I just put it say on one side and let's say and I want to blow it across in one direction so I got this closed this closed I got this one over here open I got this one over here open I'm gonna grab my rags so uh because I have dye in this too you actually can uh you might be able to see a slight green tint there of the dye so let's uh do this and I'll just hold my hand here because I know I'm gonna have a little bit of mess and I'll open up my nitrogen you can hear it you can see some coming down right here okay that wasn't uh too bad so uh, maybe I will do it again 
Do I have my vacuum pump here too? I, if I have my vacuum pump here, well, no, nope, I'll do that on another one. I was gonna show you, I was gonna go through all the stuff. But after you're all finished, um, since this does have water in it, throw it on your vacuum pump and um, run your vacuum pump on it and bring it all the way down to 100 microns. And when you know you brought it down to 100 microns, you know there's no water in there because this is 10% water or technically 9% water. But if you've opened it, it's 10%. Because as soon as you open alcohol, even if you have 99% alcohol, just like ester oil and PAG oil, and especially ester, it absorbs the air and the moisture right to the surface and it starts pulling the moisture right out of the air. Alcohol, pure alcohol is just like ester oil, very hydroscopic and it removes water out of there. Boom. That's all. Take it back and forth. I'm going to turn the pressure up here a little bit. And um, let's see if I make a mess. So as you can see, it's not complicated. It's not rocket science. There's no special voodoo magic. No complicated equipment. Unless I uh, make a mess here this let me put a little extra on there because so I turned up the pressure on the nitrogen I have it there we go that's it I did it two times and I might as well go for a golden rule and go for three times so let's go for three see if I can miss that needle and get it right into my hand when I was a kid I used to stab myself with needles I don't know what's up with that haven't done that in years. Fill it up again. Open that. I had all these closed, so it hydrostated, it uh, bubble locked, and it was actually starting to back up here. So I opened it to bleed some air by. Shake it. And do it again. And I'm actually gonna turn up the nitrogen pressure some more. There we go. Okay, from there, throw it on your vacuum pump, and um, let me clean out my other one. Just remembered I didn't. Throw it on your vacuum pump, turn your gauge on, and read for it to come down below 100 microns, and you know you have removed all the water that's sitting inside there, and now you're ready to use it again. That's all, it's that simple. And uh, since I got that request today, and it's an easy one, uh, I decided to do it since it's cold outside. Alright guys, see ya.